Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Troubadour Goods Generation Leather Backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. Let's dive in. So this 18 liter bag has a very premium look and feel to it, mostly because it is made with calfskin leather. So if you are vegan, this is not your bag. But it, it does feel very nice. It's very soft and supple. That does create a few structure issues. You can see like this pocket is sort of caving in. I can never get this top part to not cave in no matter what. Uh, even with, you'll see what I have stuffed in here to try to get it to not cave in. And so in daily use, it's usually sagging more. That being said, it does have a durable water repellent sort of built into it during the tanning process. So I got caught in the rain a few times. There's nothing to show for it. So that is really great. Um, we do have a really nice carry handle here at the top and it is lined with this sort of textured rubber and or not rubber sorry foam padding and it is really comfortable to hold for quite some time if you need to and it works really well for a hook there are also OOK zippers which they work okay <laughs> but i don't think it is the zipper's fault so much as going around the curves when especially when you have a little less packed in here um, the, the bag structure or lack thereof when the, it's not stuffed full makes it sometimes hard to get around the corners one-handed. Again, I really don't feel like it is the zipper's fault. I feel it's more the lack of structure to the leather. Um, there is a little bit of branding here with just Troubadour on the side and that's about it. So it's a nice sort of minimalist carry here. And then we have Duraflex hardware, which I will talk about briefly next. And also there is a sort of incorporated luggage pass through. So you can slide this over the handle of rolling luggage if you choose. Now that we are back here on the harness system, you will see that there are nice uh, cushion. There's nice pieces of cushion padding. Um, it's very comfortable to carry and it's all lined with sort of breathable mesh. It's like a micro mesh. It's almost like like workout wear, but um, it's so it's very breathable. Now granted, I haven't really tested this in super hot weather, but it I never got sweaty, but it's fall. So, you know, it's it's sort of cooler than you would you know, think if you really wanted to put it towards the sweat test. But we do have a breathable air channel here. And like I said, the mesh makes it really nice. The shoulder straps are contoured, so they fit really nicely even without using the sternum strap. Um, the sternum strap works well. It's just, I find it difficult to put on because it is this magic slide and you, sort of slide it into place like that. And then it stays in place really nicely. And it's nice that it's hidden over here, but when it's like on my chest, I find it kind of hard to look down and get it. So I don't end up wearing it a lot, but unfortunately you really can't take it off if you don't want it. Also the adjusters on the straps work great and there are strap keepers here, but there it's like it creates a loop instead of dangles. So do with that what you will. So the cushy harness system and those contoured straps really do make it quite comfortable to carry um, on a regular basis, even as I have it, you know, really fully packed here. It's, you feel like your laptop against your back, but just from a structure standpoint, not because it's like digging into you, that, that padding all works really well. Like I said, I don't really feel the need for the sternum strap, even when this is fully packed. And when I go to put it on, I find it's basically, it's my hair gets in the way. So if you have shorter hair or your hair in a ponytail, you will probably be able to see that magic slider a lot better. It is what it is. Now, as for aesthetics, obviously it's super minimalist. You know, there isn't a whole lot going on there. My biggest thing is the lack of structure when you don't have it, well, the lack of structure of the bag, which shows when you don't have it fully packed out. 
It just, I don't love the saggy look, but if you are going to stuff it, you don't have that problem. So of course, what you wanna know is where you can put all your gear, right? So there are a few secondary compartments on this bag. Obviously the most uh, prominent and obvious looking one is this front pocket. It um, suffers a little bit from the same, yeah, you can see what I mean, the same issue as the main compartment, which is when you're trying to zip it around corners, it can sometimes get stuck, lack of structure to the bag, and then, Again, same with this and the main compartment. Like you have to like sort of like grab onto um, the leather like itself to close it, which is less of an issue with this pocket because you see there's something to grab. It sometimes is a little difficult to do on the main compartment, which we'll get to shortly. But this um, front compartment has a few slip pockets. They're like sort of like two fingers wide, so you can fit like a couple of pens or a stylus or even like a really slim battery banks. A battery bank we have some that are like just sort of like like tubes like lipstick tube size almost and that fits really great there's also this um, pocket and all of these are stretchy so they hold your gear in place nicely um, fits my phone really nice it does fit I know you probably all know that I have a mini but it does fit a standard iPhone as well probably not a pro but a standard one slides in there nicely. And then there's a little bit of extra room where I have put just a little toiletry bag. And there is a key leash uh, on a swivel clip, which works really well. And then you just have the space to toss your keys in there and it works out really nice. You can sort of like swing the bag around and pull this out um, to open a door with it on. It's not the most seamless but it is possible, so that's that. Now flipping around to the back, you will see there's a zipper that basically is along this back panel and it opens very widely the laptop compartment and it's all protected by a fabric welt as well um, or a leather welt as it, the case may be. Sometimes I had an issue sort of like just grabbing it, but not very often. So it, it works pretty well. Um, you can fit up to a 16 inch laptop in here. Plus there's another padded sleeve for a iPad. So you can fit, they're both quite nicely padded on the front and obviously along the back panel, it's well padded. Plus they are slightly elevated off the bottom of the bag. So your devices are definitely well protected. Um, you will see like a 16 inch MacBook Pro is gonna come right to the zippers there. I carried a 13 inch and that fit really nicely, obviously, because it's slightly smaller. And then if you have a PC, I'm guessing you're gonna need a smaller device than 16 inch because it just, it might not quite make it, but you will have to see with your own device. So if you are finding this video helpful, go ahead and take a moment, click like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you content like this to help you travel smarter. Now let's go into the main compartment. Uh, you can see it opens very widely, which is very nice uh, for easy access. And like I said, I have this stuffed more than I ever do because I was trying to like beef up the top of it. Um, but. I'm gonna pull some of these packing cubes out of the way so you can see the organizational features that we have in here. So against the front is a large zippered mesh pocket. I didn't end up using it that much because I felt like if I did put stuff in it, it really, it sort of contributed to the sagginess. And then there were other, plenty of other places to put my gear, I didn't end up needing it. So if you are packing for a trip, you're gonna use this as a personal item because it is really big. You got, for 18 liters, it just seems really, really spacious. So, you know, then if you're really packing it out, then if you use this for either cords or maybe a few toiletry items or whatnot, I don't think it's gonna sag in as much, obviously, if you have things beefing it up in there. But because now against the back panel here, we have nearly the same size pocket Yep, see how my whole hand fits in there? It's it's a very large pocket. And I just sort of use it as a dump pocket. I've got like my AirPods in there, some tissues, just some papers and tags I've picked up along the way. Um, so I found that nicer to put 
just my little everyday accessories in because then I didn't have to worry about it sagging in the front of the bag. But if you need extra space, you got it. Then there are these two really deep, you can see they go all the way down to the bottom, uh, just large slip pockets. And this is a recycled polyester liner and then we have the leather trim. But I've got a little tech kit in here. I also have my glasses case in here. But you know, you could put wall chargers or cords, like they're really deep. And even if you, you can see with my glasses, even if they're sort of shorter than the pocket, it's really easy to reach inside. Even though they're not stretchy, they have enough give that you have enough space, which is nice. Then there is another slip pocket here um, where you can put your wallet. If you, you could also put your wallet in that one where I had my phone. Um, you know, it's just about the same size again. So I have my wallet in there, another pen slider. Um, if you really like to carry pens and pencils or styluses, whatnot. Then the only other thing is they have, I can't even call it a pocket. It is just this little like loop of fabric and it's just to, supposed to hold, it's the, just the liner fabric and you can see see the bottom of my bottle there. It doesn't go, it doesn't have a bottom. It just is supposed to hold a water bottle upright to keep it from falling over. Now I have to say, I'm very paranoid about putting water bottles in my bag, even like I get it. They didn't want the aesthetics of having something bulging out the side, but so I didn't, I didn't use it because even though it is in a completely different compartment than your laptop, I'm sure it would be fine, especially if you use a bottle you trust. I get paranoid, so I didn't want to put it in there. I just like to know like if I'm having an issue with my water bottle, I can see it on the outside. So the nice thing is, is you take it out and this just totally lays flat and it just sort of hangs out and stays out of the way if you don't want to use it. So it was not a big deal not to be using it. And then you have quite a bit of more space to fill here. I usually toss my uh, cooler with my lunch in there, maybe another like sling bag, uh, another layer, stuff like that. Like there's a lot of space to fill in here. So if you need to carry a lot of items and you really like the leather aesthetics, definitely could be good for you. If you're vegan or you don't like how it sags in, maybe it's not, but Overall, it's very comfortable to carry at least, so it has that going for it. So there you have it, the Troubadour Goods Generation Leather Backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.